Hey folks, welcome. I'm a Rock Pebble, and I am checking out some Astronauts, which just released its early access build 0.13. That's been dubbed the lucky number 13 build, which uh, brings a ton of awesome new updates and, and content and uh, things that you can do in the system. So we're going to be checking that out today. I'm going to have to create a new character. It's been recommended, and it's actually been a while. I think the last several updates I haven't played. So we're going to be checking that out and everything that's been new since I last played the game. Diving in. This is a really, really fun space sim game. I, I can't tell you how great it is. Uh, this new update brings procedural plots and objectives, ship comms and SOS, hauler ships uh, can add and remove derelicts, data files, hacking and settling info, or setting info is a thing, PDA social app links and nav screen, and then a bunch of ton of other quality of life and, and other great things going on here. Yes, definitely go check them out on Discord and, and Steam and, and all the other places. And uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and dive in and create our own character here, or new character here. Now, this game uh, is developed by somebody who worked on, or, or, or who made uh, Neo Scavenger, so highly recommend checking that game out if you haven't, if you haven't played that in the past. Um, and this game is is really neat. It's It's been developing for quite some time. And it's it's gone in a really interesting direction. So without further ado, let's check out this fantastic character creator. Uh, we're going to go with uh, he, him. We'll randomize here. Um, I wish it was a full randomization. Oh, you seem kind of cool. Let's go with... Um, hmm... Nah, nah, nah. Let's go with uh, Dion Hall. That seems good. Let's see. That's your lips. Yeah, yeah, that seems good. That seems good. Okay, switch to career kiosk, and let's go ahead and uh, play around with some of this. So we are 18 years old currently. We are worth 95 bucks and 47 cents. Quite poor. And we can see a little bit of our, a little bit about ourselves as we enter the Ayotemiwa uh, Med MedTech's office. They take a glance at their chart and then at your body, then back at your chart. Immunosuppressed, low bone density, hypovolemic standard condition for a young spacer on K-Leg Station. Born and raised as you were in the weak microgravity of a 33-kilometer asteroid. Doc says the insomnia is catching up with you. It's chronic around here, something likely caused by radiation and lack of sunlight. Your eyes work well enough for now, but they're still bad and they're getting worse. 18 years old and rapidly approaching middle age, your muscles are feeble by Mars standards. They wouldn't stand a chance on Earth. No shit, you say. You're no Earther and you never will be. Heart monitor beeps and then beeps again. The board tech scribbles a few notes and grants your work permissions. Healthy enough to strip holes in the boneyard, despite everything. Fine with you. Closer to the ships after all and you're going to get one. All right, we can see our uh, biological father is Alexander Higgins, a criminal from Vessel, a low G. And then uh, Mary Jane Higgins is our mother, a shipbreaker from New Cal Venus, around Venus. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So here we are at the Labor Department. We're going to build out our resume. First thing uh, we should probably do is maybe check out our traits. So, uh, yeah, so aging will impact your traits as well. It's uh, something to keep an eye on. So we might want to go with maybe like genius first. We're just, we're smart. We're going to work on just like getting book smart, learning how to, to be smarter and, and be more, uh, be more uh, advantaged in that department. After that, I think we should go work on skills. So here we can see we already have spaceship engineering. I think it would maybe be good to be decent at maybe construction. So we'll do construction. So we have we're a, a genius shipbreaker and uh, we're skilled in construction. So the skilled in implementing civil uh, engineering plans as well. Okay. Uh, and I think maybe we go and seek some adventure. 
So hulks of black and metal loom all around you as you ride the labor barge out to the boneyard. The barge is so overloaded today. They've got some of you clinging into a cargo web full of locked crates. Crates with emergency supplies. They'll no doubt deduct from your pay if you dare have an accident. But the armed guard's back is turned. Hmm. Hack the lock. These cases have a firmware update vulnerability you were reading about. Using a data cable to your handset, you try a script you've been working on to hack the pin. Flash a green and a puff of air signal your success. Elicit silent fist pumps and wide smiles from the neighboring laborers. New friend, Manuel Barry. Okay. We're hacked in, uh, we're, we're skilled in hacking and we're a leader now. Okay, good. All right. 25 years old. Feeble, genius, leader. Fragile. Unfit. All right. Um, maybe let's just... Get rid of fragile, maybe. Let's get rid of unfit. I think that's that would be good. It's no longer tired more easily by exertion than most. Okay. Review resume. Okay, we can see we're a young adult, genius, leader, feeble, fragile, immunosuppressed, insomniac. Okay. Um, let's work on traits and no longer be feeble. Um, actually, maybe just go get fit. All right, has reached halfway. Is a slow healer is more is tired more easily by exertion is tired is no longer tired more easily by exertion than most okay well that i guess is fine um and we can go work on another trait we can get fit okay it's currently working as a shipbreaker no longer feeble No longer fragile. Okay. We're a slow healer, but that's fine. I don't care about that. Um, and let's go ahead and seek a ship. It's going to take a year. We're 38 years old. We've had a pretty solid life. We're not particularly wealthy. We'll be 38... Ogiso Register has given this vessel an OSR of moderate, indicating that it is legal for sale but does not possess ship systems beyond basic travel and life support. The mortgage is 788,000, payments per shift 2,126. It gets fine. <clears throat> we'll be able to make it work. We'll take the ship. Take the ship. You're now the proud owner of a 270A, and you can now reach some of the outer derelicts beyond the watchful eye of the yard masters. Now that you're on your own terms, your next move is, to, is up to you. Maybe score a valuable part or two for resale or, re, or reuse, pull down a platinum tier payout on a gig, or maybe even disclose or discover a ship discarded before its time. Whatever the case, it beats sweating in a suit all day for someone else's profit. Time to get out there and find your future. All right, that sounds good. Okay. All right, so get let's go ahead and submit our resume there. And we can see Dion Hall is here. We are paused. We have the 95 bucks and 47 cents. We haven't really made any money. 
Um, we are currently sitting here in our bathroom, been taking a look at ourselves. This is currently on the ground. We'll put the overalls on. There's a Nacho Fiesta. This one is the left. So this would be your left, yeah. This is your right shoe. Okay. Um, and we've got our PDA here, so that's that's all good. Let's go ahead and walk out here. Is there anything? No, that's just a vent. That's a toilet. Let's go ahead and go check out this area here. Anything in the bins? There's a bed over there. Um, let's check out anything in the bins. A t-shirt. I'm gonna just chuck it on the ground. We're gonna look for... Um, okay, yeah. Oh, whoops. And wait, what do we have here? There is a, a toolbox here. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put that into our hand here. We'll grab that. And then we've got a toolbox here. We've got a screwdriver, a hacksaw, and a soldering iron. Um, what is happening? Okay. Uh, we've got a white t-shirt here. Um, this one is Polaris Condition 100. Okay, that's actually the best one. Keep that on then, and some dirty cloth there. Hygiene wipes, we'll just toss that on the ground, but we don't really need that currently. Got a couple beds here. See anything? Uh, some vodka. Aha. Uh -huh. We'll want to hold on to this pressure suit. Ah, uh, okay, I can't have shoes on. But I think I can have that on, maybe. Aha, uh -huh. no, I can't. Okay. Uh, that's our clip point. We've got a lamp. Uh, this is a tote. Okay. We'll grab some vodka. Take that with us. We'll take these shirts with us as well. Maybe we can sell some of this. Try to get a little bit more money. Anything in the fridge? A drink pouch. Doesn't seem like there's anything in it, though. Uh, that's a table. Alright. That's pretty much all there. That's all we have here. We're gonna go ahead and open this. Open. There we go. Whoops. Um, access lock. I don't think we have a... I don't think it's locked. Why? It doesn't have power. Okay, then do I have to pry it open? I don't have anything to pry it open with. Oh, do I have to click this? Okay. There we go. I see. I don't know, that's that's interesting. Okay. The door of K-Leg Station slides open and you're greeted by the familiar of aroma of station vendor fare. Spot prawn stir fry and suya curry, kebab of chicken and a gaji yahi spice rub, Sichuan beef with pink peppercorn. Your head knows that the meat is aquaponic or lab grown or worse, but your heart tells you that anything prepared by human hands is better than trencher chow. Tired looking spacers circulate between the bunks, the refuel kiosk, and the breaker yard, moving in and out a gossamer haze of cigarette smoke that is permanent fixture on the station. The smokes are Sungara Viceroy's, the breaker brand of choice. Folks here will chain smoke them unfiltered no matter how many times Ayotamiwa execs find them for overworking the CM2 scrubbers. Your new ship is waiting in port, not far from the kiosk hub and scrapper sh scrape shops. Scrap. Scrap shops. Once you find it, you can finally undock from this rock. If you want to strip ships for salvage, all you need are the hand tools you own, but you'll need a welder to start remodeling or repairing hulls. Either way, if you're lucky, you can finally start making a living, something beyond the corporate uh, sponsored rat race of breaking ships for daily wage, a life you can call your own. Alright, continue, confirm. Alright. 
All right, so let's see. Where is the... I think we want to head down this way. All right. There seems to be just a floor conduit. Oh, uh, hi. See, we can... Uh, this is part of the... Um, see, this is very cool. This must be part of the... Uh, the tutorial. Alright, and we will need to take this suit off. We will start suffocating if we don't... Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just at least take that helmet off. There we go. Alright, we can just speed this up. It's personal space for ourselves. That's good. Alright, there we go. Okay, and that means we can go in here. Uh, I need to turn on... Toggle power. Aha. Uh -huh. Inventory. Yes, a fr friction welder. And a tactical knife. Put that into our clip point here. Alright, very cool. Um, let's go explore up here. I didn't realize that you could just find little goodies and stuff. Um, can I see O2? Cig cigarette stubs. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Shirts. Anything else over here? These are cigarette boxes. I mean, we can maybe try to sell some of this stuff. Let's see. 95. Yeah, all right. Inventory. Inventory. All right, nothing in there. All right, maybe we can sell those. And what is that? That's just... Six more, yeah, more cigarette stubs over there. Okay. All right, we've checked that out. Is there anything else over here that... Nope, this seems locked. These are manuals that we could... Uh, or posters that we could look at. So we could read these posters here. Work safety and health. And all, a lot of the tutorial, tutorials are sort of built into the game here. So you can, like, sort of just find all the help that you need. When we get into the ship, you'll see some of that as well. The Suya cart. Ah. Oh. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Um, should I, should I, let me, yeah, let me go trade with them. I'm curious to see what the Suya cart has. Oh, that's delicious sounding. Once we get in them enough money, I think we're going to save our money for now. Another uh, Jinghua cart. Let's trade, what do you have? Ooh, Szechuan beef with pink peppercorn. Absolutely delicious. First, let's go get some money. Alright, so we could uh, shop for supplies here. These are kiosks. We could buy a license here, but I don't think... I can yet. Maybe here, though. Well, I could try to sell a few things. In our tote. Not wanted, not wanted. Uh, we could. Oh yeah, this is none of this is wanted. Okay. No, no, this is uh. Let's see, trade, buy. Okay. I mean, I think maybe buying. Oh, but we have so little money. Okay, first. Let's just try to go get... I don't think... Oh, maybe a um, a crowbar. Let's see. Can I get one of those? Yes. Alright, buy one of those. Our lights should be fine. The backpack would be nice, but that's way too expensive right now. We've got the welder. We don't have a grinder, nor do we have a drill. I don't think... Yeah, we've got these three... The welder. These charging stations could be nice. 
but that's just too much money. Okay, we'll come back for that then. Okay. I think this is fine. I think just the, um, not enough space. Okay. All right. Exit. We need to uh, get rid of some of this stuff. Can I sell? Can I trade here? Sell. Aha. Okay, so you would buy some of these things. Oh, but that's water. You know what? Let's hold on to that then. Never mind. Um, we'll get rid of this Viceroy shirt. We'll get rid of the hygiene wipes. Um, we can get rid of the, the cigarettes in here. Yeah. Um, anything else here? I could get rid of the gun. I don't really want to. Nope, these are all fine. We're going to hold on to that. We get 5372 out of that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that is great. Let's come back over here then, and we'll do a little bit more trading. All right, that means we're getting one of these, and that means I'm also getting both of these chargers, because I think that's going to be important. That's going to run us 98. Awesome. Paid 70 because I must not have space for... No, nope, I do have space for everything. The... Though I didn't get... Mm-hmm. And is there any... Oh, yeah, I've got uh, my shoes in that one. Um, no, don't equip that. We didn't get our... Crowbar. <laughs> Oh, it's two blocks, it must be. Uh, and why do I still have my hygiene wipe? Uh, this must be the canister. We want to get rid of that. Sell. This and... This is fine. Yeah. Accept. There must be two. Otherwise, I don't know... Oh, whoops, hold on. All right, yeah, that should be good. Um, we can just toss you into our small pouch here. We'll do that. Let's try to go get... Let's try to go get this crowbar. Crowbars are really, really helpful. So I think having one on our journey would be... Yes. All right. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a times two. All right, great. Let's go ahead and get on our ship here. Um, I don't... I guess I can check in here, see if there's anything there. No, hold on. Let's go to the uh, fuel kiosk here. Do we need more fuel? Um... All right, submit. It cost a few cents. Where are you going? Let's get onto our ship. All right. And we've made it onto our ship. This is it. This is our trusty little barge. We're going to go ahead and link our PDA to this. Okay, searching, nav station, vessel name, we're calling this one the Pebble. Registration, BXKAE, Ryoka is the make, model is 270, year 2056. Okay, we're linked, we're good here, we can uh, see there are a number of, of options here for us. Oh, where have you gone off to? Are you trying to go... Oh, you're trying to use the restroom? That was normal, unburdened. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to do, but let's, let's go ahead and get on our ship here and let's head out. So 
Let's go ahead and use... Oh. Yes, use this. Come on. Alright. So, uh... Let's go ahead and pause this. Don't crash. So this is, again, like I was saying, there are a bunch of really awesome sort of in-game tutorials that teach you how to use everything. I think I'm good, and I think I know how to um, navigate around here. The transponder is new. I don't think I have seen anything for that yet. But we'll figure that out. All right, that up. Um, let's go to our comms console. We're going to um, go to our docking menu. Initialization error. Okay. Comms console. Um, okay. There we go. Comms control initialization error. What is going on? Tracking mode, we're all good here. Initialization error. Clamps. No clearance. Aha. Uh -huh. Do I need to pay... Ferry. Yeah, come over here, try to use this. Let's see. Or maybe that we need to try to figure out. Mm hmm. No, no, that's not what I think we need to do. We need to try and pay. Yes. Huh. Income, operating expenses. Yeah, okay, so we paid for all of that. Why are we having issues with... Um, with our comms console here? Will subscribe you to ship generated notifications. Okay. Um, okay, I guess we're still going by Swanyo then and not Pebble. I thought we had uh, figured that out already. All right, Pebble, let's go with it. Come use this. Okay, there we go. I don't know what that was about. Okay. Um, let's take... What is happening? Okay. Um, use. Okay. Local channel. Opal, open channel to OK leg. Okay. Um, yeah. Request uh, undocking clearance. Message sent, waiting for response. All right, cleared for takeoff. Okay, we can go ahead and hit the clamps. Switch to nav controls here. We're gonna zoom in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play. And we're gonna start moving, okay? Uh, we're going. Proximity alarm is going. We can speed things up just a bit. Um, we've apparently got our helmet on, so we can't actually hear much. Okay, we can see ourselves spinning. Um, let's go ahead and take our helmet off. Oh, you can actually hear the uh, all the things. All right, um, we're going to stop spinning. We're going to go ahead and rotate ourselves uh, using Q and E for our thrusters. And let's go to this. Uh, let's go to this one here, so we can engage our thrusters. Now, be careful. Uh, we can see that RCS is the amount of fuel that we have. We're currently at ninety nine point four percent here. Uh, we want to make sure that. 
our VCRS is at um, this one BRG needs to be at 360 so that's good this one needs to be closer to zero and then this one we want to be at like 250 here so that'll get us speeding towards this location here um, and and we're, we're heading that way okay very good uh, legal issue find manual Barry who wants to talk about legal issue about a legal issue seeking help with the legal issue they'd rather discuss it in person when it's convenient okay we'll see if that's uh, something we can do first though we need to get a little bit of money we are broke as and we need we need something so this is going to take some time we can go up to like 200 here um, I don't want to use too much of this because, again, it's going to take some RCS to dock. It's going to take some RCS to undock to maneuver back to our, our home base. And so um, making sure... And why are we in such thin atmosphere? Um, let's quickly cancel action and use this. Are we? Yeah, for some reason we're spinning. All right, let's go ahead and stop spinning. We don't need to do that. We're still moving in the right direction. That seems good. Okay. Yeah, we're not really spinning anymore, so that's good. Uh, go ahead and start. Target not found. Okay, on current ship. Yeah, well. Maybe we'll try to get that later. Yeah, we got that. It's going to take some time before we get to our destination, so we can try to fix up our ship a little bit. Um, we've got our yeah, toolbox here, trusty handy toolbox. We'll install both of these chargers here at some point. Um, and let's see how long... Okay, you've restored one of the floors. Thin atmosphere. Floor pump. This is N2. Mm-hmm. O2. We've got some O2 in here, but it's not very... It's not very prominent. Do we have any O2 or N, uh, NO2 sensors? Alright. Um, cancel and then use this. Okay. Alright, so we're going to slow down here. We're going to slow quite a bit down here. All right, we can mute that. Uh, let's go to local channels. Show on nav map. Oh no, that's not where we want. Uh, hail ship. 2.1 kilometers away, that's the one. Target unresponsive, ship status. Static, show on, okay. Back. Initiate uncontrolled docking procedures. Oh my. We just bumped into them. clamp. Okay. I don't think we took too much damage bumping into the ship. We weren't moving super, super fast. First derelict. The clamps on your docking ring engage and your hull resonates like a struck gong. 
While you're sent to scan the vessel for data, you close your eyes and imagine the fortune that could await you on the other side. Perhaps you found a racing skiff, a nimble vessel with a lightweight hull pushed around by a top-of-the-line RCS package, and a four-can Miura Hydra intake regulator. Or maybe you've stumbled on a multi-cabin pleasure yacht, an elite catamaran complete with a full bar and corridors adorned with yarn, yards of crimson and cream Van Hummel interiors. Or maybe it's just a dead freighter, a decades-old Testudo hauler packed with trash and sporting a giant hole where the reactor used to be. This is a junkyard after all. Well, let's go see what we've got. Craving something meaty. Okay. First things first, toss on the old helmet here. Let's poke our head into here. Alright. The atmosphere is quite thin there. Alright, and what do we have here? It's um, a relatively... Me medium ship. O2 is low. We're suffering from hypoxia. Alright, we need to get into here first. There we go. Hmm. Is our no, I mean the there's O2 in here. Okay, normal atmosphere now. All right, there we go. We just needed to fix up our our uh, oxygen here in our helmet or in our suit. All right, there we go. Okay, and now we can start exploring. So here we can see that there are bulkhead head bins here that we can explore. We can see what all is on the ground. So we see that there's some small electronic parts. We'll probably grab that. Um, we'll start looking inside these bins. Maybe we even grab a few and put them on our ship. Nothing in that one, unfortunately. Um, and with that, I'm going to end this episode. There's some storage crates here. That's really good. Let's maybe uh, access one of those. Uh-huh, some O2 bottles in case we need some O2. Um, and with that, we're going to try to grab some of this, deconstruct, um, uninstall some stuff here that may be of value, and we'll we'll do some more exploration here in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe and like and all that other great stuff, and we'll see each other in the next episode. Take care.